Welcome back to another video, you guys. Tonight I am talking about some don'ts when you are dating single, okay? So when you are a single person, you're just out here dating, here's a few uh, tricks, well not tricks, tips, you know, that could hopefully get you through the struggles of dating. All right, I got some uh, Chipotle here with me tonight. Anyway, girl, why you not so many cups? This is how I weigh out what I'm not Chipotle, yeah? I know, they, I know they hate me for it, but I used to work there, and I pretty much get all of my dry, like, ingredients in the bowl and then everything else, like, except for, like, the dirty sauce or the hot sauce, I get, like, um, separately. It just, it lasts longer for me, like, I've already put a date in it, and, you know, I'm getting a little full. But usually, I can go back and eat off the Chipotle about, about three times, depending on, you know, how, how I'm feeling, but I had some fresh fries from McDonald's, so. And then I got some, uh, spray with a lemon wedge, because we bougie. No, it tastes really, really good, guys. I don't know if y'all knew this, but when you work at Chipotle, chips. And, I mean, like, put about three lemon wedges with, some, like, a little splash of lemon, ooh, lemonade. You know, lemon mm, 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 mm. So, I guess I'm technically giving y'all a mukbang. But here we go. These tips are for the type of person that is really trying to network and mingle, not necessarily sleep around. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with sleeping around. You know, you do whatever you gotta do. But, um... There was just a point when I was single and I realized like, dang, you know, people have, excuse me, people have like the wrong idea of what it is I'm trying to do. And I just was like, okay, I, I want to give up completely because people keep coming at me, you know, like I'm trying to, they, they really try to like be on my body, like really try to like, you know. I slide in there and I don't have time for that, honey. I just wanted to have a simple conversation, you know, but yeah, I was not about that life. Yeah, some people it really is like, they be about it. And I'm like, uh-uh. I'm not about to have my body count just skyrocket. Um, and being a person like I am, I'm so, like, laid back, and I'm so just, like, off and dedicated to, like, then I was so dedicated, like, to work and stuff like that. I didn't know, like, some of my, even my closest friends was friends with other people, you know, and it, it would just hit me by surprise, because, like, some of, like, my girls, like, they would, well, what girls I did have, um, they wouldn't even know. They were like, oh my god, oh my god, Jermaine is friends with, with her dear. Ooh, I, we have relations and, and Dion is brothers with, with Sam. And then I'm over here like, you know, like, <laughs> I'm scared to death. Because I'm like, oh, we like, I don't know what's going to come out of this situation. Like, you know, everybody talk, you know. So I'm like, girl, I, I, I don't know. I didn't know I would have told you. So I would say that these tips are geared, you know, just in preparation. Um, yeah, you always, you have to be 10 toes down. You got to be on guard when you are single because people will try you. Not just guys, girls too. You know, people will try you left and right just to, you know, just to get in where they fit in. So you got to be on your toes. You got to be on your guard. Here's some tips on how. So, yes, curfew. Hey, once the street lights come on, you in the house. That's it. I know I saw old when I say that, but I really, really do mean it. Like you, you in the house. Period. You not going over nobody else's house. They not coming over your house. That's it. Because yeah, all these girls. Oh, I want me a hood dude. Oh, I want me a hood dude. Okay, but when you thinking that you got you a little date at 8 o'clock, and I mean, all of these things, they, they just, they tie in together. But you thinking that you got you a date at 8 o'clock, and here he is talking about some, oh, I was out here making plays. My bad, shorty. I forgot. You know, or I, I'm so sorry, baby. How can I make it up to you? I'm about to be on, on my way over there in a minute. I'm not coming over to my house. I need them doors is locked. Matter of fact, I want you, when you're single, and I did this too, and it was so beneficial for me, you make sure, them doors is locked, 
you not going nowhere. You know, you set your own personal time. I just said for me, when it get before it get dark outside, if I'm not already gone somewhere, I'm not I'm not going nowhere with you once it is dark out. Lovely. It was so lovely. But I would literally turn I I, I would turn the TV off sometimes too. Sometimes I would like, you know, watch a movie or something like that. But I would make sure, you know, I if I knew like something was in the air, like, okay, it's it, it's six fifty nine. I'm not leaving this house. Um, I give me some snacks together or I would just, you know, set it up for me time. I would draw a bath, you know, nice candle lit, have the R and B music, you know, play. Um, and I would take my phone and I would turn it, um, to, uh, uh, it's a load with a little moon on it, but it's like a sleep load and pretty much, um, Hey, I mean, you will still get your calls and your texts and stuff like that, but your phone would not light up. It would not alert you that somebody's calling or texting you. It's going straight to voicemail. So I I love that. And like, I used to be like, uh-uh, this is my time. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just a little gassy. Hmm. Delicioso. But yeah. So I would say set, you know, even if you got to turn your phone off, I wouldn't necessarily say turn your phone off because I was a little punk for real. Like, I was kind of scared. I slept with like a knife, okay, and my gun. And just because, you know, single woman and, you know, all alone and stuff like that. Yeah, so I, I didn't turn the phone off. I just, you know, had it set towards, like, don't bother me. And I was in the bed at 9 o'clock. Well, I tell y'all, I was looking good, feeling great, waking up on my own regard and stuff like that. You know, not dealing with the extra bull. Like, it was, it was magnificent. I was, I was so happy. So happy. But yeah, <laughs> that bit my cheek. Ouch, that hurts. And pause this video while I'm sipping on this pop. Go get you some water, okay? Coconut water or regular water? Pick one. Go, go get you some. That's all I gotta say. Cause y'all know better than to just be here. Without no water, I'll dehydrate it. Talking about some, ooh, what do I, what mistakes do I not make when I'm sick? Being dehydrated would definitely be one, okay? So you don't want to go to to the hospital. Uh, but yeah, before you know it, boom, it'll be one o'clock in the morning. The guy's banging on your door talking about some, hey, I, I finally made it. And he thinking that, you know, you're supposed to just jump into his arms, you know, or he, he you know, needs some type of reward or Bam, oh, okay, I throw the pennies at you just because you came at my house at one o'clock in the morning. I don't think so. So ladies, you deserve a lot better than that. Know that he will try you. That's my food dance. A date is not Netflix and chill, especially a first date. Now, the first time y'all hang out, should not be at each other's houses. I don't care what time of day it is. It shouldn't be at each other's houses. My coworker put it best. Honey, um, my man, even still to this day, he cannot even come into my house and use the restroom. Okay? That, that's it. Now, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, dang. But I'm like, hey, she must be doing something right because she's engaged. Okay? So, uh, just listen to what, hey, some people you gotta even know, like, okay, you know what? I like you, but a little bit too much. So, we're gonna have to set these boundaries, okay? So, we can't, we can't cross that path. So, no, you cannot come into my house. I'm telling y'all, what, <laughs> once you invite a guy, I hate to, like, dig in my hair while I'm eating, but once you invite a guy to your house, I promise y'all, it's almost like, um, like a vampire, like, that first time when you you allow for them to cross your threshold, honey, you blink and they just gonna be there, okay? How me and my boyfriend ended up moving together. It wasn't that we set aside plans like, hey, we're gonna move together this date, that it is that. 
no i invited that boy over to i mean like that was ultimately you know the plan but it wasn't supposed to be for that apartment i let that boy spin it out of my house one time and ever since then it was just like one night he never left okay here just <laughs> just here we are here and now like that's it but i'm telling y'all that's how it would happen that's how it happens so i don't care you know um pretty much like i'm saying these these tips are to set you up so that way you stay single and happy and you stay, you know, to yourself pretty much. Um, and I hate for it to sound like that, but I really, really do mean it in the, the best way for you. I know it, it sounds like that too, but I'm a Virgo and I feel like I know what's best. So just listen to Mama Jazz when she say that it, she has your back. Okay. And listen to me, listen to me. But, <laughs> but yeah, so, hey, it, Netflix and chill is a lot of date. I don't care what he's talking about. I don't care, you know, if he feel like you bored or something like that. I, I don't care. Like, oh, well, who cares about your opinion? Okay, you go get with uh, Ashley. You go get with, uh, with so-and-so, you know, that's going to go for something like that. But over here, Jazz, I'm not going for it, honey. And that's just that all, period. Another thing is, when you guys do decide to, you know, start going out and hanging out and stuff like that, if you do so happen to go to his house, because <laughs> now we got some friends situation going on. <laughs> I just cannot get it right. Like, I If don't... you so happen to have to do this, but... If y'all start going over each other's houses, because I made a Facebook post about this like a while ago, but smoking and drinking is not anything to do, okay? If you just so happen to sit on the couch and every guy make this, you know, this joke or whatever, like the couch is this big, <laughs> and here go the girl, like all the way over here, like with her first <laughs> you comfortable get comfortable no i'm sorry thank you it's not because like she's just acting weird it's the fact that you gotta kind of know who you're dealing with some people aren't used to like just coming over somebody's house and also too it's a guard because it's like okay what what's up like your intentions you know what i mean like if you could just tell me right through the door like when i walk through the door like you know um I, I want to have sex with you might not be like this so much you know I might not be sitting on the couch at all I might be in my car you know going back home or I was like you know if I was that type of girl or if some girls would be like okay cool you know forget like while I'm talking to you let's just go get right on to it and I'm telling y'all that guys if y'all be so honest like from the jump so many girls would just go for it it's been a long debate of, you know, if you have a get, if you have to offer a woman or give a woman, you know, uh, uh, pills or, you know, drink or, um, if you offer it for her to smoke, it's kind of like rape. I wouldn't necessarily say it's rape because I feel like as, you know, somebody responsible enough to date and be grown, you have to know how to hold yours. So I wouldn't say that it's rape. I would say that it definitely is sneaky. It's sneaky. It's so sneaky. Because it's like, why would you have to take somebody out of their element just for your benefit? So I wouldn't say it's rape, but I would definitely say it's a little sneaky. So you kind of got to watch a guy if he's like, hey, you know, you want to hit this bottle or something like that. If that's not what you were into, just expect, you know just expect not necessarily the worst but just you know expect okay he's probably looking for something a little bit more that's all i'm saying um but yeah you just got to be grown you got to know how to hold your own that's it because ain't nobody else gonna be responsible for you and even if even if he was the type that just kind of like like to you know smoke your drink i my cousin was dealing with a guy honey he left beer bottles all around her house okay and he just really enjoyed the taste of beer like he just really just loved beer 
And he kept offering for her, you know, but by then they were already in like this day and stage. And she's like, no, like, I don't want no beer. What's wrong with you? But he just, you know, he just kept on about his way and stuff like that. And honey, I mean, when she finally put him out and just was tired of him, I don't know how many beer uh, bottles was at her house. Like, <laughs> laddie la bottles of beer on the wall, honey, because I was like, dang, like, sheesh. But yeah, the boy had a full-on problem, let's just say that. But <laughs> I mean, some people honestly do like the the taste or whatever of it. Some people really, really do enjoy smoking. Um, do it have to be your problem? No, it don't. Okay, and they might not necessarily be offering you that just to, you know, get in your draw. Some people just don't like smoking or drinking alone. That's it. But like I said, you just got to be responsible for yourself. Well, honestly, let me add this because I, I did notate that. Know who you dealing with as well because this person, you might not be giving off the right impression if you don't know how to hold your own. And this person has to take care of you. And they might not, they might not even be feeling you after that. Like, once you just let yourself go, they're like, ooh, this person's a little crazy. Or this person is just sloppy and it's just like a big turn off for them. So that's another reason why you really do have to, like, learn to hold your own. Like, no. And then for me, I get a little aggressive if I smoke or drink. And I kind of have, like, this whatever and very assertive kind of attitude. So... You know, <laughs> I'm five foot or whatever, and I'm not going to be drinking like a six foot, 200 pound man, okay? But <laughs> I might get a little like, you know, if somebody get loud or something. Like that, I'm like, no, I got this. Hold on. And here I am trying to fight for everybody. Like, that's just what type of person I am. Um, I was also dealing with a situation where I noticed that this guy... Um, had uh, been act acting, you know, extra with me. Like after he noticed, like I had, you know, just had like one drink. He was just like, "Hey, what's up? You feeling that drink, ain't you, girl?" And I'm just like, "Ugh, get away from me! Like, get away from me! What's wrong with you?" No, at that point, I was just so turned off. I stopped drinking. Like, I wasn't too mad though, cause I didn't pay for the drink. But I was just like, "I gotta watch you, cause you." And you sneaky, you can't be trusted. But yeah. And so that goes into don't just be accepting drinks from anybody, you know, or especially if somebody had the drink to you and you're at their house or something like that, don't do it. Okay? Um, don't drink that. And do you have a nice closed steel bottle of of um of water? You know, our good old friend H two O. Lastly, if you must, if you have to go out with a guy, you know, just, you know, regardless or whatever, but especially at nighttime or something like that. But if you so happen to go with, go out with a guy, um, make sure you just have your own means of transportation and that just be like. And that just be like, I'm a little ratchet, but um, <laughs> that's just because if you're not feeling dude or else if you're just tired, you know, you could just go on about your way. Don't have to, you know, bring nobody from their mode or whatever that they're into. You could just, okay, I'll see you later type of deal and just go on about your merry little way. Um, you definitely don't want to feel like you are stuck in any type of situation and then to come across as rude or impatient or just like, uh, because, you know, because you're tired pretty much. And I hate that. Like, it all go back into like a guy like trying to be in your panties. Like, you know, he might have 150 million things to do when you mention that you want to go home, when you mention that you're tired or something like that. You just don't want to come across that, you know, that thing, that situation where, if you are, like, you know, with a guy or something like that, um, you know, y'all both kind of give each other the look, like, what you about to do? And it's like, well, or else, like, if he might just be sitting by the door, you know, ready to drop you off, and you just, like, 
kind of catch a hint and just understand, okay, you know what, it's time to go. And like I said, you don't have to, like, deal with a situation that you don't need to that's not necessary. Um, and to where you're in a dating stage, people reveal what they want to about themselves first. They reveal what they want to first, okay? Listen to that. Like, I have to say that again because you might find yourself caught up in, like, any type of situation. And, yeah, I mean... I, I've been, like, on dates with people, like, you know, sell drugs, and I never even thought, like, oh, for real? And definitely just to be so bold, like, okay, this is our first time, you know, really hanging out, and, you know, and I hate to be that type of person that's, like, I have to cut you out, cuss, cuss you out when you act acting out of line and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't want to be that type of person, you know, so, um... It can definitely do something to you. I would rather you go on, handle your business and stuff like that. If you don't want to reveal that to me on the first date, still let me know. But I don't have to be in the midst of that. Because when the police pull me over, I would just be like... <laughs> I didn't know nothing. Nothing, officer. Nothing. So, yeah. It, like I said, just make sure you have your own means of transportation. And it's so so convenient now that we have like things like uber and stuff like that just to you know get us out of just sticky situations these are my tips um for you know like i said for people that's not necessarily trying to sleep around or anything like that um just obviously trying to have a good time and network um i wanted to also elaborate on it is totally possible to hang out with the opposite sex and not be sexual and not have an alternative, ulterior, alternative motive of like trying to be with them or trying to seek a relationship out of somebody. It's perfectly possible not to do that. I have a, a movie friend, a law friend. Well, I had because Brandon ain't going for nothing like that. But, honey. Who well, I had a rooster's friend. If y'all know what that is, that's a local, like, bar or whatever. He honestly, I don't know what he thought he was going to turn me into, but he just wanted to, you know, hang out with me. We ate, you know, wings and stuff like that. And sometimes I would get a drink or whatever, but he just wanted to talk to me about sports all the time. So I don't know if he wanted me to start, like, gambling on sports or uh, games and stuff. I don't know what he was really trying to do there, but... I mean, I would be his, like, go-to person, I guess, if his dudes were trying to link up or something. I had a movie friend. We would just, you know, always go go watch a movie and stuff like that. So it's possible to have friends and just network. It's so important, so vital. Like, people, young adults our age, they don't understand um, how much more beneficial it is to just network just find out you know a few things about some people and and that's it somebody said something to me that was so important and so special to me but they pretty much stated you don't have to be with somebody just to have a bond with them what is the title if you don't have that relationship there and that kind of always you know stuck with me like wow you know and he just said like it don't matter what the time is or anything like that you know, between y'all or that y'all might, might have lost, you still always will have that bond because you have that line of respect and that line of friendship there. So for me, those type of things, those type of conversations, it's just the most, you know, the most, I don't know, it's just the nicest thing that you can ever take away from, you know, things like that. And you actually you walk away being single with like a weight just lifted off your shoulders because you are not obligated or have to feel bad for, you know, a bad decision that you made. You honestly just sat down and conversated with people all night long. I was at the bar just conversating with people about their lives and it just, you know, it was crazy, but I was loving it because I just was so curious about people all in all. Like, I had cut myself literally off um, when I was younger. And this is a habit that young people tend to do, um, you know, when they are dating. But 
I all I see was Brennan. I cut myself off of like reality and just all of these other opportunities and stuff like that because I was so interested in him. And I'm not saying that that's the wrong thing, but I'm saying that, you know, it's so much more important to build character within yourself, to know your likes and dislikes, to really, really date yourself prior to you trying to give yourself off to somebody else. And you learning all of their likes and stuff like that and what they want and you know, and it, soon you would phase out to where it wouldn't even matter about you anymore because you're gaining so much of this person. Or you wouldn't even have enough of you to share. So a gem that I would drop for y'all is, um, I just took the baby and, you know, grabbed Chipotle and stuff like that and went to go see Brandon at work. Continuously date each other because <clears throat> you don't want that to ever fizzle out, you know? Like, continue to date each other, but also have your thing on the side to where, okay, I got this time off to the side. You know, it used to be like moments, not to ramble, but it used to be like moments where I would get mad at Brandon or he'd catch an attitude with me because, like, I just wanted to, like, go to, like, the the library by myself or I wanted to go take a walk by myself or, you know, and not even know how to channel that because we were so stuck up under each other. So, that's all I have to say about that. Um, well, that's all I have to say about that. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment <laughs> down below. I would really appreciate that. Um, and, yeah, guys, um, also, to just, you know, comment down below what is one of your major don'ts of dating this was all living wise and stuff like that i have a lot a lot more um but yes i do appreciate it thank you guys so much and bye bye